Hey guys, welcome to RC Foam Fighters. In a minute we're going to be getting to the onboard footage and the four cell test flights I did on the bullet plane this weekend. But first I just wanted to go ahead and show you the, the two projects I've been working on. Um, in my hand I'm holding my mini Dragon um, forward swept wing. Uh, I pretty much have the airframe complete except for the rear stabilizers. Um, I'm just waiting on a few more parts to finish this plane up. And hopefully next weekend we'll be able to do some test flying with this one. Um, I also have my Monster Delta. Um, I call it the Monster Delta because it has such a big motor in it. Um, this is actually one of my uh, tailless Delta wings that I've modified. It now has a regular canopy on it and I've added two rear stabilizers. Um, on this one I'm also waiting on some parts. I need to get some larger batteries and a bigger speed control to run this one. So hopefully this one will be flying here pretty soon too. Okay, I think we're ready to take a ride on the bullet plane. Yep. Alright guys, got the onboard on the bullet plane. Let's check it out. Where you at? <laughs> Well, hope you guys enjoyed the crazy ride on the bullet plane. All right, we got the bullet plane in the air with the four cell and a 6.4 sports prop on it. We're gonna see if we can get some speed runs. It's pulling 800 watts. So 800 know, watts? Yeah, 800 watts. So let's see what happens. 800, here. gonna melt it down. <laughs> What? 119. 
119. Look at Show the camera. <laughs> oh, hang on. I can't see it with that leg on it. there. Turn it towards me. It's not seeing it with that polarized thing. Hang on. Hang on. Let me take off the lens cap. I'm posting that one. Yeah, no. Okay, let me see it. There we go. 119. Woo. Okay, well, we found out our polarized. <laughs> filter, uh, don't, don't let you fill the right radar detector. All right, one more pass. <laughs> Hang on. Let me get this back on. Okay, we got We got You got it? Yeah. You ready, Tom? Remember, hold the trigger the whole time. Here it comes. Fourteen. Hundred fourteen, so hundred nineteen. Yep. Oh, that thing's crazy. <laughs> so what is it? A four cell with what? Four cell with a six four sport prop. Damn. Eight hundred watts. Eight hundred thirty nine oh, watts. Oh, at fifty eight amps. Here it goes. Dom. Oh, bad run. I think we're running out of juice though. high. Yeah, but still be 100. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I think the batteries are running out of juice. Come on, move the batteries. We'll do one more and then after it. Yeah, we'll do like John here. <laughs> wow, 119. No Good way. Time. And that's 17. 117. So 119 backed up by 117. 17, 14. Got it. Mm -hmm. All right, man, I'm going out there and then I'm bringing it in because I got the shakes. <laughs> Frankie's got the shakes. <laughs> <laughs> Again, hey, Frankie. So you're pushing that motor beyond. <laughs> it's about double what it's rated. <laughs> double, it's supposed to be rated at 450 watts and he's running it at 800 watts. Watch out, Tom, it's coming at us. Whoa! Oh, I lost it, man. It was dark. I see it. <laughs> Franco, what do you think of your 119? Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty cool. There you go. You got the new scratch built record for yeah, us, anyway. New scratch built record. Now I feel better. 119 with the okay. whole plane and a four cell. Cool. Hey guys, this is the first four cell that I got the chance to run through the bullet plane and get some speed clocks. Um, I was really happy with the results of 119 miles an hour with the 6x4 sports prop. Um, I was really, really pushing this setup though pretty much. Um, I did do a watt meter test on it before I threw the plane in the air and it was pulling 839 watts at 58 amps on a spike. This is really high for this motor as it's only rated at 480 watts. Um, so if you do have one of these and you decide you want to run it this high, just please be careful. Um, what you didn't see is I edited out all the cool down laps in the video. Um, I would suggest if you're going to run this setup on this motor, don't run it for any more than 10 to 15 seconds full throttle. Um, and then do at least one cool down lap to cool the motor down a little bit before you give it another burst. Um, as long as you do this, it should be fine. Um, when I got home that day, I took the motor completely apart and took a look at the windings and the bearings and everything looked good. So I'm thinking it's alright as long as the weather is cool and you keep your bursts down to 10 or 15 seconds, you shouldn't have any problems with it. Okay, we're going to go ahead and wind up the video here, but before I do, I just wanted to remind everybody, please don't forget to enter in this month's free giveaway. Um, there's information on our blog. I'll put a link in the sidebar. Um, please be sure to check out all the other links as well. Um, thanks for watching RC Foam Fighters, and I'll see you guys again soon.